for many of us, Harry Potter is as much a part of our childhood as wet diapers. After all, almost all of us have seen the films about the adventures of the wizarding students Harry, Hermione, and Ron, and almost all of us have read the books of the same name. However, the mega success of the Harry Potter series has not only influenced our culture, but also the lives of all the people who were lucky, or perhaps unlucky, to land a role in the famous Harry Potter films at the time. Many of them, therefore, live rather unusual lives today. What has become of the Harry Potter stars, and whether one of them has solemnly sworn that he is up to no good, you will find out now, so stay tuned here at Wonderland. Oh, and write us in the comments, which character of Harry Potter is your favorite? We're curious. Let's start with Ivana Lynch. Ivana Lynch was lucky enough to land the role of the quirky Luna Lovegood at an open audition when she was 15 years old. This role also led her to many other roles after the Harry Potter series. Among others, she played a leading role in the TV series Sinbad. In 2018, she also participated in Dancing with the Stars. Away from show business, Lynch has been a vegetarian since childhood and vegan for several years, and is also an activist for vegan nutrition. She has repeatedly given public speeches on the subject, and has also launched a podcast called The Chick Peeps. She also does educational work about eating disorders, as she was affected by one herself before her role as Luna Lovegood. Let's continue with the anti-hero of the Harry Potter series, maybe apart from from Ron, and that is Neville, or rather, Matthew Lewis, the actor of Neville. After filming the last Harry Potter movie, Lewis made a special decision for himself. He had a new set of teeth fitted. Thanks to his new look, he was able to land roles in television productions and smaller films, even after Harry Potter. In addition to his acting work, Lewis is also very active on Instagram, where he maintains the classic influencer lifestyle with his wife and dog, and about 2.7 million followers. By the way, he's also sporty. That's why he is also involved, for example, as vice president of a rugby association. Now, let's move on to Bonnie Riggs aka Ginny Weasley. She is a good example of someone who has perfectly continued her success from childhood. At first, she played some roles in movies, but then she dared to get behind the camera. Thus, since the year 2012, she directed a total of eight film projects, including music videos. Outside of the film business, she's also discovered modeling for herself, and has even walked at the London Fashion Week. Next on our list is Alan Rickman, who proved his acting talent film after film with his convincing portrayal of Severus Snape. However, Rickman was a celebrated actor long before Harry Potter. For example, he starred in films such as Die Hard, Love Indeed, Sweeney Todd, and Robin Hood. Even after his role as Snape, he continued to make films. In August 2015, however, he suffered a stroke, after which he withdrew from from the public eye. A few months later, in January 2016, Rickman died at the age of 69 of pancreatic cancer, which he had previously concealed. Rickman is not the only Harry Potter actor who's passed away in the meantime. For example, Richard Griffiths, who played Harry's impossible Uncle Vernon in five Harry Potter films, also died. He died in 2013, at the age of 65, after complications during heart surgery. Along with him, by the way, it also hit John Hurt in the meantime. Hurt filled the role of the wand maker, Mr. Ollivander. Just like Rickman, he also died of pancreatic cancer. Let's move on to Robert Pattinson. Even though the star is now more associated with Twilight and many other movie roles, Kristen Stewart's ex is also an original Harry Potter actor. He played Cedric Diggory, 
in the fourth and fifth parts of the saga, and thus began his highly successful acting career. Within a few years, he became a Hollywood star. In 2012, Glamour also named him the most handsome man in the world. Meanwhile, he is also considered one of the richest young Britons, with a fortune of over $80 million. Before we get to the careers of the actors of Harry, Hermione, and Draco Malfoy, we have two Harry Potter actors for you, who also belong to the Hollywood elite. There is Gary Oldman, who played Harry's uncle Sirius Black. In addition to Harry Potter, he has also starred in blockbusters, such as Leon the Professional, The Dark Knight, and many other films. In Hollywood, he has always been considered one of the most important actors of his generation. In 2012, The Hollywood Reporter magazine found out that he is the actor whose films have grossed the most worldwide, if you add up his leading and supporting roles. That's how he ended up with $11 billion. In addition to his commercial success, he also won his first Oscar in 2018. Incidentally, many Hollywood greats such as Tom Harry, Daniel Radcliffe, Brad Pitt, and Ryan Gosling call him their favorite actor. Gary Oldman is the best. I'm pretty good, but I mean, if you look at what I do, then watch Gary Oldman, you'll see. Well, he's not quite as good, and yeah, he's doing Gary Oldman so he is more than established. Similarly successful is Ralph Fiennes, who also starred before his role as Lord Voldemort in films such as Schindler's List, The English Patient, and later in the James Bond flick Skyfall. Incidentally, his nephew, Hero Fiennes Tiffin, appropriately played Tom Riddle in the Harry Potter saga when he was young, as there was a certain visual similarity between the two. Emma Watson is also also involved in filming. She managed to gain a foothold in the international film business with her popular role as Hermione Granger. She has since starred in films such as The Circle with Tom Hanks and Colonia with Daniel Bruhl. We always knew. What I am proposing is radical openness and unbroken connection. Hmm. Watson is not only an actress, she also models, and very successfully at that. She is also a member of the People Tree fashion label, which produces fair trade fashion. She's also an advocate for climate protection and sustainability, and above all, for women's rights, and has even spoken on this topic at the United Nations. Now, let's move on to Daniel Radcliffe, probably the most famous of all Harry Potter actors. After his role as Harry, he rose to become one of the most famous faces in Hollywood, if not the world. However, at the peak of his success, he also devoted himself to many projects that were not necessarily commercial. In the meantime, he has even starred in plays on Broadway and taken on a role in the series Mirror Miracle Workers. Currently, Radcliffe lives in Manhattan and is dating with the actress Erin Dark. Like Emma Watson, Radcliffe is also politically and activistly active. Among other things, he supports gay rights and supports AIDS relief projects. Last but not least, we come to Ron, Ron Weasley or in real life, Rupert Grint. After Harry Potter, Grint was only able to continue his acting successes to a limited extent. He did get a few more roles, but these tended to be in small productions. Nevertheless, he also supports charitable causes, and even had the honor of carrying the Olympic torch at the 2012 Olympic Games. And lastly, we come to Tom Felton, who starred in the Harry Potter films as Harry's arch-rival, Draco. He also continued to be of interest to many casting agents, and thus played a few more supporting roles in better-known films, such as Planet of the Apes. Nevertheless, according to his own statements, Felton prefers not to work too much in the film business. Instead, he's concentrated more on music since his role as Draco. He is a singer-songwriter, and released his first album 12 years ago. Good morning, California, good morning, such a lovely morning now and it seems that everything's gone my way. 
Like Matthew Lewis, he is also very active on Instagram, where he now has 11.1 million followers. So much for the Harry Potter stars! Which career of the former HP actors did you personally find most interesting, and why? Feel free to tell us in the comments! Otherwise, leave a like if you like this video, and subscribe to Wonderlane for more! Until next time, here at Wonderlane!